get it, you know I be on the way. So it is currently, I think 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I have been up for quite some time because today we were supposed to be installing the new head gasket on Gabby's car. She said that she wants to sleep in and her brother said that he'd be up early to help me. So let's go ahead and see when we get started with this job. And what time is it? It is morning. Uh, 12.54. Oh yeah, that's real morning. <laughs> Getting ready to start working on Gabby's car. Got to back it up a little bit because we got room up front that we need to make. So I'm going to go ahead and start this real quick. That way you can just see what it sounds like. <laughs> Damn! Damn! Oh, it smells so horrible. What did you do to this thing? Again. Oh. So we went ahead and took the hood off of the car. This isn't something that necessarily you have to do, but we just chose to do it because it's a freezing cold day here in Texas. As you can see that some of us are wearing sh shorts and flip-flops, but it's like 70 degrees with a breeze, which is kind of like sub-Arctic temperatures for Texas. Really sweatpants, sweatshirt, shoes. <laughs> and the typical Gabby pause, which we all edit out and make it look like she said two words. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start tearing this down from the top down because we need to get down to uh, the head gasket, which is somewhere in there. I don't know, I've never worked on one of these before, so we're gonna wing it and hope that you don't have any leftover parts. Am I joking, am I not? He's we not don't know. <laughs> Coming through here first, we're taking out all of the engine harness that way we don't have to worry about it getting in the way since all of this has to come off anyway so if you've never done a job like this before you basically are tearing down your entire engine so up top here you can see we can see our cams but we have to get our exhaust manifold, which means the turbo is coming out over here. We're getting our intake side off. So that means that all has to come out. And then on the front side here, you can see all your pulleys and gears to be able to get to the timing chain. That means the timing cover has to come off, which means all of that stuff has to come off. So at this point, you're basically doing a full engine teardown to replace your, your head gasket. Keep it out of a ditch. Which may have not done that. It may have not been the cause for it. It more than likely was the cause of it, but we don't know and we're not going to say anything to her. Okay, about an hour and a half in, we have this side dismantled. Everything below here doesn't need to come off. So we got the fuel rail out of there. We got the intake off. Over on this side now, we're getting ready to start taking apart the manifold. And hopefully we can sweep that out of the way without having to dismantle the whole turbo setup. But again, I've never done this before. Gabby's never done this before. Nate's never done this before. Seth has never done this before. That's not his name, but I'm going to continue to call him that. And we are going to do the best that we can. We're not certified mechanics, except for Sharon over there. But we can't do anything about it because we're the YouTubers. He's not. So if anything screws up, though, he was our supervisor. And that means that he let it screw up. He will up. be at fault. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Have the belts off the front, got the harmonic balancer or underdrive pulley, depending on what generation you came from, is off the cart. Now they are just getting ready to come in here and start taking the timing cover off so that we can get the chain off. And then we should be able to take the cams off and then it's pretty much easy. It's off, right? Yep. Easiest part. Got the valve cover off. I don't know how many bolts it was. We'll count it later and let you know. So Nate's in here trying to get the bottom bolts. As you can see, this one here, it's square and we don't have a full opening like we did on this side. So we have to take this pump all the way off of the back and I'm going to call it a pump even if that's not what it is. You guys can tell me what it is in the comments and then tell me I'm stupid for not knowing. But there's two holes right here that mount to the bracket that holds it in place up here. And then there's two below that as well. Once you're able to get that off, then we'll be able to take out this cam and then get access to our bolts down there to go ahead and pull this out. We're almost there. Another seven hours. Yep. 
I think she broke something. Probably. What was that face for? Yeah, oh, I thought you broke it. It's yeah, we all know that it does that. That's why I handed that to you so you could look at it. It spins. You, you looked at me with a super shocked expression. I thought you like snapped it or something. <laughs> look at it. Yeah, again. Look, look guys. We, we know that it does that. Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Showing us how it works. I've never seen one of these. Yeah, I can tell. Went ahead and got that out. Nate is lifting out the cam. I feel like Thor right now. Okay. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like how now she's concerned about what happens. Yeah, because he's like flailing it around. Like, no, 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 no. Lay he's a boy. Me. We flail it around. That's just what we do. Public indecency. Look, 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 look. Public? Like this. Just, like this. just take it from him then. If he's not doing it right, just take it from him. So here's our table full of stuff that we got off the car. Our intake, valve cover, harmonic balancer, intake manifold, fuel injectors and fuel rail, this little pump that does something with things and, you know, all that stuff. So we got everything fairly organized. Gabby's been doing a decent job of keeping everything together. Now that that's out of the way, we can get down to these bolts and take the last of this thing apart. We have the head bolts out. We are getting ready to take this thing off. Right now we are disconnecting the chain guides. That way we can separate it from the head. Out here, as you can see, is there some coolant because Gabby's like, we don't need to drain that. <laughs> um, so now we got to clean all this up. I don't understand. It's pissing all the way to the back of my garage. It's horrible. Um, but Gabby said that she's sorry and then she's going to pay for us a new garage. So it's whatever. But, uh, so we're going to go ahead and get that off. So hopefully this here will come off. We didn't mess around too much with the turbo because we're hoping that we can slide this slightly over towards the driver's side and get the studs off of there. But we're going to find out here in a second. Got everything disconnected so far, except for the down pipe. So Nate is in here right now trying to disconnect that because we were hoping we wouldn't have to and maybe we could lift it up enough to slide it back but as you can see there's not a whole lot of play that you have around those studs so we're gonna have to loosen that to be able to move it away uh just because disconnected everything else in hopes that we don't have to start disconnecting oil lines for the turbo but who knows uh, once we get this step done again we've never done anything like this to an ecoboost the last time i did anything like this on an engine it was outside of the vehicle so uh, we're just flying by the seat of our pants. Got the head off looking down in here. They all look pretty normal for the most part. This one here is kind of clean and I think that's because it wasn't firing right and it was taking out a little bit of fluid. When we took this off, they were all of course flooded, but I believe the majority of that was just from us taking off the head itself and not draining fluid because as we said earlier, Gabby said, don't do it. Um, but I think we're good. We're going to clean this up, get the new head gasket on here, but we do need to get new studs, which Gabby's going to take care of, right? Within six to eight weeks. So this car will be here for a little bit. I'm going to just clean up the area here on top, make sure everything's all nice and clean. Everything checks out. Everything's all good and gravy. And then we'll put the head gasket on and start reassembling everything. So this is gonna end up having to be a two-parter. We got everything disassembled. In the next video, you guys are gonna see us start putting everything back together. We'll give you full torque specs and everything that you're gonna need. So until the next time, make sure you, until the next time, so until the next time, make sure you go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and go ahead and hit those bell notifications so you don't miss anything else that we got coming up. Until the next one, peace.